Well, this is a pleasure and this is an honor for me to introduce this man. To many of you, he needs absolutely no introduction at all. So, ladies and gentlemen, come on, brother. Oh, good to, good to be here, Mark. <laughs> the Abalone Kid, ladies and gentlemen. Kaim, so, how you doing, brother? Good. Good, good. Wonderful to fellowship with a brother in the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's uh, my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Well, we're here at Malibu Beach and we just had lunch and um, it was just great breaking bread with you again. Oh, I love it. I just love these fellowships that we have. The Lord has blessed us with this opportunity. We're still on the planet <laughs> and uh, we have a chance to, to share the scriptures and and uh, support each other in our ministries. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's a real nice uh, blessing from God, and I thank the Lord Jesus for bringing us together like this. Amen, amen. Well, brother, you know we only have 10 minutes, so let's get right into okay, it. Okay, let's go. Um, how did you get involved in the music business? Well, uh, when I was a kid, my, 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 uh, my mother used to play a lot of classical music, and I just picked it up. I think she, she, she must have played it in the womb, because <laughs> I came out singing. No. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I grew up in Brooklyn, and... Oh, we had a lot of singers back there, great singers. And I used to sing with the boys, looking for an echo in hallways and in apartment buildings. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we did the 50s stuff and, and got into the 60s. And a couple of the, couple of the guys recorded songs uh, and made records like The Tokens. And, and uh, I sang uh, around the corner from Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers. So I'm dating myself now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, music was always a wonderful thing. It gave us a chance to fellowship with songs and making sounds. Mm -hmm. And then, as uh, as I grew up, I uh, went to college. I got away from from the under the street light singing in Brooklyn, and uh, got into academics. But uh, years later, when I was uh, an attorney in a practicing law in Manhattan, I started to hear music again and lyrics would come out of my pen. I'd go into the office and hand my secretary a, a summons and a complaint and three songs. <laughs> and then she would uh, transcribe them and type them out. And I would then uh, try to fill, put a, 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 me a melody into the lyric. Mm -hmm. And I started working with a guitarist, uh, Street Todd, uh, who also came from Brooklyn, uh, named Joey. Joey and I used to get together once or twice a week at night after work and work on songs. Mm -hmm. And that was how my uh, singing career began while I was practicing law in New York City. Very good. Well, I mean, you're into Christian music now, so um, is there a certain theme that, that runs through your music? Yeah. Uh, I st the theme started when we, we, we uh, managed to put together a cabaret act. And I would be... Uh, practicing law in the day, trying cases in court, uh, daytime, and changing and going to the cabaret at night, and doing a set. Mm -hmm. And in that set, uh, I started doing songs like My Father's Loving Touch, Mama, For Me You Always Tried, and I'm Going Home, Be Here My Friend. It was actually praise music in a pop methodology. And as I continued doing that, and started to read the Bible and got converted uh, by the Word, convicted and converted, I should say, mm -hmm. uh, I began to, to do more songs that were related to the theme of the Lord's calling us and us, His church, going home. Mm -hmm. Well, um, how come you got involved with uh, YouTube? I mean, what was the whole impetus for getting involved with YouTube? Well, I started a, a website, theabalonekid.com, uh, which uh, is still uh, operating, and uh, I praise the Lord successfully. I've been able to reach people with the music, as well as some of my uh, my scriptures and my essays on it, uh, in about 145 countries in the world, mm -hmm. and another 350 colleges and universities. It's been a great blessing, so the website has helped a lot. But I got to a point where I wanted to have more of a personal communication with people and I wasn't getting it from the website. Mm -hmm. I was getting the traffic and it was coming from all over but I wasn't getting the fellowship. Mm -hmm. So someone told me about YouTube and a friend of mine here in Malibu suggested that I come up to his house and that he would 
do some videos of me doing my songs. Mm. And that uh, began the uh, materials that I eventually uploaded after I joined YouTube. Amen. Praise God, I tell you. Um, New Jerusalem for me is a song, man. That is, that is a song. Thank you. I love that song. The Golden City. Golden City. That's right. Yeah, we. And by the way, when we cut those videos uh, up at uh, at Kent's house up in Malibu, mm. uh, we did a whole album in 35 minutes without a break. <laughs> he just started the camera. Yeah. And rolled it, and I was doing the music, mm. and he walked out of the room. <laughs> so all those videos that you see on my my YouTube channel, Abalone Kid. 35 minutes was done in 35 minutes without a warm-up without a practice <laughs> and without makeup well it was good well, it was good it turned out real good but well, the, but the CD the one you're talking about mm -hmm. is on a CD forevermore and that CD has been offered to the world mm -hmm. starting with the with my website and continuing in the videos on YouTube for free mm -hmm. and by God's grace you know I've been able to to, to transport that music all over the planet and anyone can take it the pirates can repeat it they can sell it i don't care what they do with it yeah. as long as they don't change the words which are biblical amen amen well final question you have any um, new songs coming out any new videos or anything like that yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to making some new videos i'm going to do some spoken word mm -hmm. and do a little bit of uh, bible teaching not to not to cramp your style my friend <laughs> because i can't do that but i want to do a little teaching and then I'm going to do a couple of songs that will pertain to the conclusion of the church age and the coming of the Lord to take us out. Amen. Amen. Well, brother, we just want to thank you. And I just want to say for a lot of people on YouTube, you've been a blessing. You've been a blessing to me. You've been a blessing to them. We just want to thank you for your presence on YouTube. We want to thank you for being faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we just want to ask you just to continue to... Um, to do what you're doing and just continue to to bless us and most importantly to bless the lord with your presence so right, thank you so much brother, mark thank you you're a wonderful brother and i encourage everyone to to tune into mark and <laughs> and watch him just rise up towards the lord more and more well thank you for, thank you for that and i just want you to know that i'm going to put a link to this man's website over here on my left your right so please subscribe and i guarantee that he's going to be a blessing to you until then Take care and God bless. God bless.